Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome students. I am Miss Mamuna, your physics teacher. Today we will start chapter number one, physical quantities and measurement. We will be doing the article 1.1, introduction to physics. We will start with the introduction of physics. We will discuss its uses in daily life. And in detail, we will be discussing its branches too. Man has been curious to know about nature. His quest to gain knowledge came from observation and experimentation, which is called science. Till the knowledge was increased, all material objects were studied under a single subject called natural philosophy. But as the thirst of, to gain knowledge increased, it got divided into biological science, which dealt with the study of living things, and physical science, which dealt with the study of non-living things. And finally, in 19th century, the physical science got divided into five main branches, among which physics was the most important so by definition in physics we study matter energy and their interaction reminding you all matter is anything that has weight and occupies space energy is the ability to do work in the first picture matter is ball the boy is using his energy to kick the ball and by the interaction of matter and energy the ball bounces off in the second picture man is making use of its energy to pull up the bucket which is the matter so by interaction of energy and matter the matter that is the bucket is being pulled up in the third picture the leaf which is matter is using sun's energy and by their interaction, photosynthesis is taking place. The rapid progress in science during the recent years has become possible due to the discoveries and inventions in physics. It plays an important role in our daily life. For example, your cell phone uses electricity to get charged. Domestic appliances like TV, fan, refrigerator, iron machines in industry transport like cars aeroplanes work on the basic laws and principles of physics to appreciate more the help physics has provided to us and has made our lives easier it is necessary that we go through the branches of physics and learn about them we will discuss each branch in detail. Mechanics. It is the study of motion of objects, its causes and effects. In simpler terms, forces applied to objects result in change in its position with respect to environment. For example, in the picture, for example, in the picture you see an aeroplane is taking off. It is moving in forward direction. The two jet engines exert force on gases that are pushed out to the rear end of the plane, marked by F, G, P. These ejected gases exert an equal and opposite force on an airplane in forward direction, marked F, P, G. Thus, the plane moves forward. Such type of phenomena we observe in physics. Heat. It deals with the nature of heat, modes of transfer, and effects of heat. On a cold day, when you are sitting in front of a heater, you can feel the heat waves reaching you. So, the nature of heat is waves. 
there are three modes of transfer of heat conduction convection radiation refreshing your knowledge about conduction convection and radiation conduction is a process in which the heat transfer takes place from atom to atom convection is a process in which actual movement of molecules take place radiation in which heat travels in form of waves if you see in the picture the man holding the pan is going through the process of conduction the atoms in the metallic handle are actually transferring heat atom to atom and that heat is reaching its hand the molecules of water in pan rise up when they are heated the cool water molecules at the surface they move down and take their place the process continues till the whole water gets warm this process is called convection the heat waves in form of radiation are coming out from the fire the heating effects are boiling freezing etc if you see in the picture the pot of water boils when it gains heat energy when we keep water in refrigerator it becomes ice because it gains heat energy from its surroundings sound it deals with the physical aspects of sound waves their production properties and application physical aspects means how low or high the sound is sound is produced by vibrating bodies a ringing clock a vibrating surface of drum vibrating strings of sitar guitar violin all produce sound as they vibrate the properties of sound waves include reflection which is also known as echo in the first picture the boy standing near the wall is shouting and the sound waves after striking the wall are reflected back this phenomena is called reflection of sound or echo the other two properties refraction and absorption you must have noticed that in an empty room when you talk you can hear yourself but a room full of things like carpet curtains absorb your sound that is why you don't hear yourself it is to be kept in mind that soft and porous materials absorb sound more as compared to hard materials the applications of sound we do see applications of sound in ultrasound machines doctors take ultrasound test of patients using ultrasound machine sonar stands for sound navigation and ranging it is a technique which uses reflection of sound it is used in ships and submarine to measure the depth of sea it is also used to locate underwater objects like shipwrecks sea rocks etc light it is the study of physical aspects of light its properties working and use of optical instruments for example images produced in mirror color of sky color seen in soap bubbles physical aspects include color brightness properties of light you have already learned in previous classes reflection and refraction to refresh your knowledge reflection is the bouncing back of light that you can see in the picture 
the boy standing in the mirror is actually observing a reflection phenomenon. Refraction is the bending of light as the light enters from one medium to another. Here, one medium is air, the other medium is water. You will be gaining more concept about the topic in upcoming classes. The working of light can be seen in optical instruments like microscope, telescope. In microscope, light falls on the mirror. The mirror is so adjusted that it is, that, that it is directed on the specimen placed on the slide. When the slide is lit up, the person can observe the magnified image of the specimen. electricity and magnetism. It is the study of charges at rest and in motion, their effects and their relationship with magnetism. In the first picture, you can see the effect of charges in motion. The charges in motion generate electricity. When you connect a wire with a bulb and a battery, charges start to flow, thus lighting your bulb up. In the second picture, the hair of boys show that charge is present due to the rubbing of comb and hair. The charges are at rest, so the hair of boy will remain this way till charges are able to move away. In the third picture, when we run a comb through our hair and bring it to small pieces of paper, the comb attracts them like two opposite poles of a magnet would do. This property of attraction or repulsion is magnetism. We will be discussing electricity and magnetism in detail in class 10. Atomic physics. It is the study of structure and properties of atoms. Structure of atom consists of electrons, protons, neutrons, and nucleus. Electrons move around nucleus in orbits. Nucleus lies in the center of atom and has protons and neutrons in it. Properties of atom? They are smallest particle of matter. Every solid, liquid, gas and plasma is composed of neutral or ionized atom. They are small, around 1 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter in size. Nuclear physics. It deals with the properties and behavior of nuclei and the particles within the nuclei. Nuclei is a plural form of nucleus. And by definition, nucleus is the positively charged central region of atom composed of one or more protons and one or more neutrons containing most of the mass of atom. Proton has positive charge, neutron carries no charge and has mass slightly larger than proton. The fission or nuclear chain reaction 
which is a source of energy for nuclear power plants, and fission type nuclear bombs, such as those detonated in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan at the end of World War II. We find another application of nuclear physics in electricity generation through nuclear reactors. Pakistan has nuclear power complex called Canup in Karachi. The Canup supplies energy to our houses. Plasma physics. It is the study of production properties of the ionic state of matter, that is the fourth state of matter. When solid is heated, it changes into liquid. On further heating, it changes into gas. At very high temperatures, the gas particles split up into positive ions and negative ions. The negative ions, conveniently called electrons. Thus, plasma state is achieved. So the production of plasma takes place at very high temperatures. The properties of plasma, they glow because ions created collide with each other or are in excited state, that is jumping between orbits. Whenever they jump between orbits, they gain or release energy. Release of energy results in plasma glow. You will discuss more about it in next physics and chemistry lectures. We can see the process of plasma occurring in stars. Geophysics. It, it is the study of internal structure of earth, crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. Crust is a solid layer of rock on the surface of the planet. Mantle is a semi liquid layer of magma or molten rock that moves due to convection currents. Outer core is the liquid part of the core which has similar composition to the inner core. An inner core is a solid part at the center of the earth. So the summary of today's lecture, I did find this slide very interesting. That is why I'm sharing it with you. The summary is physics is the study of just about everything. Hoping you understood the lecture. You have to do the home assignment. There's a quick quiz on page four. Please do it in your notebooks. Read the units again for any queries. You can send me a message on WhatsApp between 12 to 1. I'll be available to guide you during that time. Thank you. Hope We'll see you in next lecture. Allah Hafiz.